We warmly welcome everyone on this 15th Sunday in Ordinary Time. In the scriptures this weekend, God compares his words to the rain and snow that come down from heaven and water the earth, accomplishing his intentions. So, let us till the hardened soil of our hearts now and prepare them for the living water they are about to receive so that we might yield grain a hundredfold, sixty, and thirty. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And brothers and sisters, we welcome you to our weekly taping of the Mass, and we hope you are all doing well, and may God bless you. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins, and ask our Lord for forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who show the light of your truth to those who go astray, so that they may return to the right path, give all who for the faith they profess are accounted Christians the grace to reject whatever is contrary to the name of Christ, and to strive after all that does it honor. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The first reading is from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, as the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return there until they have watered the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sower and bread to the one who eats, so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I propose and succeed in the thing for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. Thank you. 
to provide its grain, the seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. And thus you provide for the earth, you drench its The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. You crown the year with your goodness. Abundance flows in your steps. In the pastures of the wilderness it flows. The seed The seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory about to be revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the children of God, for the creation was subjected to futility, not of its own will, but by the will of the one who, who, the one who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to decay and the will obtain and will obtain the freedom of the glory of the children of God we know that the whole creation has been groaning in labor pains until now and not the and not only the creation but we ourselves who have the first fruits of the spirit groan inwardly while we wait for our adoption to sonship the redemption of our bodies. The word of the Lord. reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus went out of the house and sat beside the sea. Such great crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat there while the whole crowd stood on the beach. And he told them many things in parables. Listen, a sower went out to sow as he sowed, some seeds fell on the path, and the birds came and ate them up. Other seeds fell on rocky ground, they did not have much soil, and they sprang up quickly, since they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched, and since they had no root, they withered away. 
Other seeds fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and brought forth grain, some a hundredfold, some sixty, some thirty. Let anyone with ears listen. The Gospel of the Lord. At first, when we hear the parable, we might think that it's impossible to be perfect, to be that person that always hears the word of God and follows it. We are all the first two people in the parable at times in our lives, and I know that I am. But we must always remember, parables are a teaching technique. We read them and think about what God's message is to us, and it can change whenever we read them. This is why it's good for all of us to read the readings on our own each week before Mass and pray and <clears throat> think about them. But the main theme, of course, as the Old Testament tells us, is the seeds or gifts that God gives us he expects them to come back to him in the end, having borne good fruit. In other words, we've been given the Spirit of God in baptism. The seed is planted in us, and even though we may fail from time to time, we will have talents that God gave us, and we are unique children of God, made good, and we need to use what we have and love and forgive and give and praise God through our example. And if we do, we will bear fruit and give it back to our Lord tenfold, and others will benefit from us as well. As we receive Jesus in the Eucharist today, God has planted a seed in all of us. How can we make it grow? Now let us pray that the word of God may take root in our hearts and hear fruit in our lives. For the church, that we may spread the hope and vitality of good news with both our words and deeds, so that others may experience the mercy of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For inspiration and vision, that God will sustain and guide us through the hardships and difficult decisions that we face in life's journey, we pray to the Lord. Lord For all who are sick, that they may never lose heart in the midst of their suffering, we pray to the Lord. Lord we pray for the faithful departed. <clears throat> may they enjoy peace and happiness in the kingdom of God, especially Layla, Sahiri, and Maria Kuti Augustine. And for those whose anniversary we remember, especially Julita Terribio, we pray to the Lord. Lord and for all the prayers that we hold in our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> Lord, grant that we who have said with our lips, we profess in you, believe with our hearts and practice in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look upon the offerings of the Church, O Lord, as she makes her prayer to you, and grant that when consumed by those who believe, they may bring ever greater holiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word from whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy... You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, to bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Luke and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us on to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Mercifully grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, and Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of the Lord be with you all. With Offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the receiving of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ not bring me to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy be for me protection in mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy, you should enter under my roof, but only say the word in my soul. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having consumed these gifts, we pray, O Lord, that by our participation in this mystery, its saving effects upon us may grow. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We thank once again the Tribule family and all who helped with this Mass today. And may God bless you and keep you in his peace until we meet again. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Mass is ended. Go in the peace of Christ.